Hello, the wonderful Gandhi army. It is almost coming to the end of Over the Hedge, and it's sad because I love this game. You guys love this game. I can obviously tell by the views I'm getting from it. We're almost done. We're at 31 out of 35, but we're just going to jump straight in. So let's jump straight in. And these are all get to the key, unlock the moving truck, enter the truck. And cab from the inside the trailer, smash all the. Let's just jump in. I'm gonna turn this up so I can actually hear them talk. I have my TV turned down so I can't, so it doesn't ruin the audio file. But yes. Team Hedge in position. What you got for us, Oz? Good news, everyone. Lou managed to get a peek inside the van. The device is on the seat. The key for the back of the truck is by the door. Get the key, get into the truck, get to the cab, get out. You <coughs> might want to alphabetize those tasks to better keep them straight. Roger that. Don't worry, Oz. We'll have Heather back before you know it. I promise. Okay, let's break these boxes. Ooh, a shovel. I'll take that shovel. Oh, there's a badger. I feel like there was a trap there. Um, and I'm gonna miss this game. You guys will find. If you guys want to see it, I will do maybe a little more gameplay on it, collecting all the stuff. If you guys want to see that, I'll go ahead and collect the stuff. If you guys enjoyed this video, I really enjoyed it. I bet you guys enjoyed it. It is always a fun time going back and playing old games that you haven't played in a while. Okay, so how do we get past this? Do we just defeat all the bad guys? Here. There's gotta be some stuff back here. Oh, must be this. Hammy, go! Oh, wrong one. Not used to the PlayStation. Ah, oh, darn, if I square it. Circles into the last one. Oops, square. Yay, hammy! Okay. So we did that. Excellent. Good, hurry. We'll get that ice blaster. Hurry. Get the ice blaster. No, get it. Why wouldn't it let me get it? Okay, that was stupid. But yeah. It's always a fun time going back and playing a game that you haven't played in a while. Or played that since you were a kid. Man, I used to play this when I was a kid, like, all the time. Come home from school and I'd just, like, be like, oh. Yo, bro, do you want to play a game? He's like, yeah, sure, what do you want to play? And I'm just like, Over the Hedge? And he's like, yeah, let's play some Over the Hedge. We played some other games. And I do plan on playing some... Like, some other old games that, you know, like, I haven't played in a while. I do plan on playing some PS2 and all that games, some PlayStation 1... Let's get into this truck. Continue on this. Sheesh, look at game. all this stuff. You think she just lost her home or something? What a pack rat. Maybe there's a way out past all this. Hmm. Hey, looks like we got ourselves a tour guide to help show us the way. Hail and well met, menacing scavenger. I really want to know what kind of what games that you guys played like after school or you guys do right now, but what games you guys were just like, you know, I really liked playing this after school. Like, every time I came home, I'd play this and that. I really want to know, like, what games did you guys play when you guys were a kid? I mean, th this was one of them. I played, um, what was another one? Digimon, Pokemon after school. Played a lot. I just played, a I was like a gamer. Come home, watch some TV. Brother would be like, yo, do you want to play some games and I'll be like, yeah, sure, let's play on Over the Hedge or other games that we just, like, had. It was a fun time, though, like, there's always that game that you just love and you always love to play. Like, me and Adam, when I'd go to Adam's house, he had a PS2 and a Wii and we always played Super Smash Bros. and we played with another one. Star Wars Battlefront, that was a game we played, we played some Sonic, but we mostly play outside, like I realize a lot of kids nowadays don't, they mostly play video games, 
they don't like that's why I realize is it's like what happened to kids they all want to just play their video games instead of like go outside come on kids go outside but I mean video games they, they do have entertainment but to me I feel like they're not making any much they're not making fun kid games like they used to like when I was little there was tons of kid games that I would play and now you go and you're lucky if you find a kid's game now all we have to do is you I thought I smelled vermin that's my PDA you thieves I've been preparing for this moment. All right, hairballs. It's go time. You want a little of this? <gasps> Woohoo! No turtle goes faster than Gladys Sharp. Get to the truck and leave it. Survive the ride, shoot all the vans, weapons, and defeat the rats. Okay, I think we can do that. I'm hope I'm trying to get this game done Whoa, by this month. Look out! And, oh, Everyone, this was my this was my favorite part. Please remain calm when I was a little kid, me and my brother used to play this mission all the time. But one game, my yeah, one game that I really want to get back to, I used to play as a kid, would have to be. Why is it I, Would have to be the Incredibles, the first one. I played that game like all the time. And that was like, that was my game. Me and my brother used to play that. We'd come home and we would rent it every time we went to a blockbuster before it went out of business. We always would go and rent that. And we'd just sit there for hours just being dash running. Because it was like really cool that you could be dash and do the little running. And we just thought it was really sweet that you could just sit there and run and be any incredible that you want. It was just a fun time. That was, that was a game, I, that's a game I really want to get. And like I said, like I played a lot of the Digimon world and all that in the CD back there. But I was just like, man, I really like, I just really like playing these old games that we used to play as a kid. Like they used to be like all these fun games, and now, now they're mostly about war games and shooting people, and it's just like, why haven't there all these like fun games? And then you have like, oh, you have some kid games, but when they're they're not as fun as these. Like you get a movie game, and it's not as fun. It's like, oh, here's this and that. Like when I used to play, this would be fun like this, where you could just kids could just have a ball playing. And now it's just like, oh, I really like that I can shoot this person and they don't make it or they make it like Nintendo and stuff which Nintendo that's why I think Nintendo so suspect so, I can tell where to be honest guys so like popular to like the kids is because they they know what they're doing and they have the DS and they make kid, all these kid games they don't care about the adults but they make games that adults like too and I can't shoot out a single weapon Oh, we have one left, okay. But, they make all these games that are fun, like... To me, I rather... If I had the choice... Of choosing... To play an old game... Or to play, like, a newer one... To me, I'd kind of play an old game just because of... The fact that I... Can get into it. A newer game, yeah, it's really cool to see that how they do the graphics and stuff. But to me, it's just the older games are, have a certain love to it. Like they care more about it. Like what happened to what happened to the makers? Like why do they just want to make all these 